Hey everyone, so I've always told you that we're gonna talk about the geometry managers whenever we use PAC. So that's what we're gonna do today in this video. We will talk about PAC, grid and place. Since you have already used PAC in some of the last videos, let's start with the PAC widget. So from Tinker, I'll import star, then I'll get my window, I'll write when equals tk i'll also give in a title so i'll write win dot title and let the title be geometry managers okay then i'll get the widgets so for the widgets i'll get some frames and i'll pack those frames so i'll have my frame one equals frame where the master I'll give window win then let the width be 200 and height be 100 and let's have the background color to be orange okay now I'll pack this frame I'll write frame one dot pack so I'll fill this for both the axes, I'll write fill equals both and side equals left, expand equals true. So this fill and expand is for making the frame responsive. As you increase the screen size, the frame will expand in both the directions and the side is to place it on left. Cool. So let's have another frame write frame 2 equals frame win let the width be 100 background color let it be purple and i'll pack this and i'll give in the same arguments as above i'll write fill equals both side equals left expand true Okay, then I'll call in the main loop. I'll write when dot main loop. So let's run this and see how the pack works, see how the frame works. Okay, so I have the screen and as I expand it on either side, if I expand it along x axis, I can see the frames increasing. So you can see the two colors, purple and orange. So that's the rectangular area a frame makes and the packing starts from the left side because we have specified side to be left. Okay. And you can see as I expand the screen, the frame size also increases. Cool. So if I want to talk about the place geometry manager, it is used to control the precise location of a widget, the location it should take up on the window or the frame. Okay, so we can give in the coordinates. Uh, it takes up two arguments, x and y. So that's the top left corner coordinate of that widget. Okay, so let me write something for it so that you can understand it better. I already have Tinker imported and my window. I also have a title for my window. I'll just get another frame to get my button on it. Uh, or rather, I'll get two buttons. So let me have the frame. I'll write frame equals... frame win and let the width be 150 and height be 150 frame dot pack okay and uh, I'll have my button one so button one equals button and I'll get this button on the frame so I'll give in the master to be frame let the text be button at 10 comma 20 And let the background color be pink. Then I will place the button, not use pack, but I'll place it and I'll give in the coordinates x equals 10, y equals 20. So I'll get this button at 10, 20 coordinate. The top left corner 
coordinate of this button would be at 10 comma 20 then i'll get another button button 2 equals button frame let the text be button at 40 comma 50 and the background color let it be yellow then I'll place this button again at 40 comma 50 so x equals 40 y equals 50 and then I'll call in the main loop we'll check this if this works fine and we get the buttons at the defined coordinates Now when I run this, I have these two buttons at the coordinates. So this top left corner is at coordinate 10, 20 and this yellow one is at 40, 50. So that's the coordinates and the buttons are at the specified coordinates. So the screen should be seen as a coordinate plane. And the buttons are at the specified coordinates cool so that's how place works now let's talk about grid grid has all the parameters of pack plus it is efficient than place as place needs specific coordinates grid just splits or makes parts of the screen according to the matrix given you'll understand this better if i give you an example so i already have tinker imported and I'll just comment this part. First of all, if you're talking about grid, you need to make that grid. So we'll make it just like we make a matrix. I'll have two for loops and I'm going to make a grid of three by three. So I'll write for I in range three, for J in range three, frame equals frame master is pin and let me give in a border type so relief equals sunken that's about my frame so for each block or each matrix element i'll get a frame okay now i'll use grid for the frame i'll write frame dot grid so you can see what all arguments we can give for grid we can give the row which is i then column which is equal to j we'll give in some extra padding along x and y axis both so let it be five that'll look good then i'll get some buttons on these frames so i'll write button equals button and since i want this button on the frame so i'll give in master equals frame For text, I'll give in the matrix elements index. So I and J, I hope you know this format. This is general Python. Then we'll get to packing this button. I'll just use pack for this, not grid or place. I'll simply pack this button. So I'll write button dot pack. I'll give some padding, pad x equals five but y equals five so that there is space between each element of the matrix and also there is space between the text and the button and then i'll call in the main loop i'll write win dot main loop as you had expand and fill in pack you have column configure and row configure in grid I want the buttons to increase in size just as the screen size increases. So I'll write win dot column configure. So you can see what all arguments it requires. So first is the index. So of course index is the row or column number. Then you have min size which will give in the minimum size of the row height and column width in pixels okay 
and then you have weight okay so weight is the rate with which the size of the button or size of the specified widget would increase with what rate so i'll give it to be one i want all the grid elements to increase with the same rate as i increase the screen size okay and i'll give in the min size for column conf configure to be 75 then i'll also have row configure so i'll give in the index i and weight equals one and the minimum size let it be 50. so we're good to go let's run this and let's see how grid works so you can see that the screen size is not little it's there is a proper grid because we have already specified the minimum size using column configure and row configure there is a specific size of the screen because there is a minimum size of the buttons and when i resize the screen they grow in size automatically the button size doesn't grow but they are rearranged on the entire screen properly so that's it for grid that's it for the geometry managers i hope you understood everything the place pack and grid widgets they are going to be of great help in the upcoming videos so you really need to get a grasp of what was going on throughout this video thank you